Hey guys, it's XN Shadow, and welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. Last part, we started up Chapter 2, and in this part, we're going to be finding Madame Flurry so that we can make our way into the Great Tree. Now, uh, for the first few minutes of this video, there's going to be some audio de desyncing issues. Um, it was my dazzle screwing up, I apologize. It, it's only for a few minutes, though. It fixes itself after a little while. I apologize for this. Um, it doesn't really happen again, or very often again, I should say. But anyway, uh, we're uh, in Flory's house right now. It's a lot more colorful than everything else in the uh, room, forest, whatever. Though so anyway, yeah, um, we're gonna find Madame Flurry in just a few seconds, so you go up to the door. Madame Flurry, Hello? If you're in here, say something. Huh, a door. Let's see. Eek! No, out of the question. You mustn't come in here. Uh, Madame Flurry, are you there? Is that you? What are you doing? Oh, wait a moment. Those darling squishy footsteps. Is that you, Punio? Oh, it's been an age since I saw you last. You poor dears, there's something you need? Uh, well, the thing is, we have a problem that only you can help us with, ma'am. The Great Tree's entry hole is blocked, and there's the stupid door we can't seem to open. My puny friends are inside, so they're in the pickle, and Mario needs these crystal stars. It's a train wreck, really. If you can't find the secret entrance for us, we're done. Oh, is that all, dearie? You came all the way here just for that? My adorable little Punio, you know I would do anything in my power to help you. However, lamentably, I'm in a bit of a bind myself. I just cannot come out. Gee, is it something wrong? It's somewhat embarrassing, but I never go out without my favorite necklace. I just can't find the blessed thing. I suspect I dropped it on my daily constitutional. I'd be simply scandalized if someone saw it without me without it. You bitch! Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, you're not gonna help us save our friends from the evil, uh, from the evil guys who have taken over the tree, and find the magical artifact we need to save the world because you can't find your jewelry. I'm sorry, but that is just grade A bitch material. That's like if I lost my wallet and some guy was, uh, and I I lost my. It's like I lose my wallet. Okay? And then I see some little kid being beaten up on the street. I'm not gonna call the police because, oh, I lost my wallet. Yeah. I'm sorry, that is just grade A bitch material, and doesn't get me to like Flurry very much at the beginning, and we're not really gonna be seeing a lot to get us to like her in the future, too, so... Yeah, look forward to that. So it turns out that Beldam had Mario sketch the entire time. Yeah, she kinda smells like bitch, too, to be honest. So yeah, they've already just, <laughs> they just figured out that, hmm, we're looking for a mustached man. The only man who ever has a mustache in this entire world, except for Toadsworth, just walked by. Maybe he's him. Silence, you squirrel brain. Don't you cop that insolent attitude with me. Ugh, this is not fair. And about that necklace, I was thinking of returning it to you, but no more. Oh. And since you caused this problem, you ought to find out how to find this Mario chump. Something like that. I can't read. Sorry. <sighs> so now we gotta backtrack all the way back to the Shadow Sirens and get that uh, necklace. That's what it's called. We have to get the necklace. So yeah, I told you guys to remember that the necklace was there, so I hope you remembered it. Uh, thankfully, the... Um, the backtracking back to get the necklace isn't too bad, especially since there's a lot of, um, there are some, um, it's pretty easy to avoid encounters in most of the routes. Like, here you can just, here you can just, well, theoretically you could just walk on the tree stumps back there to, in order to, uh, skip encounters. I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm pausing for a second. Oh, I, I must have had to, I think I was checking the recording status at the time, you know? You have to do that when you're uh, recording, you know, you can't just focus on the game. Which is, um, somewhat of a disappointment when it comes to recording games. Um, you know, I love playing games and I love playing this game for recording it, but when you're recording a game in general, you're not generally having as much fun as if you were playing the game for fun. Because, like, I'm playing this game right now, I have to focus on what I'm doing, make sure that I'm not, uh, uh, make sure that I'm not screwing up because I want to have something decent to show you guys. Uh, I also have to make sure I'm remembering all the secrets and all that, so, you know, you're focusing a lot on what you're supposed to be doing and not just enjoying the ride. So, you know, that kind of sucks about recording, but if I didn't enjoy it at all, I wouldn't be doing this. So, I do love this game. Anyway, uh, 
Well, if it isn't Mario! Shiny Mustache and O, you can't be too bright if you came here looking for us. Wee hee hee! And you know why? Because we were waiting for you! Oh, that's them. They're the ones who had the... Wait a minute. What? You've been waiting for Mario? What's that supposed to mean, you weirdo? Wee hee hee hee! I have no quarrel with you, but I simply can't allow you to hunt for the Crystal Stars. And so I'll be taking that little map of yours just as soon as I deal with you. Hey, what's your deal? How do you know about the map and the Crystal Stars? Have you been talking to Princess Peach or... Wait, what am I saying? The real question is, who the heck are you freaks? Wee hee hee! Those who seek names are often disappointed, but if you insist, we'll tell you, we are... The Three... Shadow Beauties! The Three Shadow Beauties? Baby and you, nincompoop! What are you babbling about? It's Shadow Sirens! I don't see three beauties. I see two, but then there's you and your plug ugly! Aw, oh, sis, I'm sorry. It's just you always call us lovelies and... It's just a figure of speech! Ooh, you've got some fierce punishment coming your way. Aw, oh, gee whiz. I hate being punished. That's for later, though. First, we have to deal with this Mario and friends. Let's do it, my lovelies. Or rather, my lovely and ugly. Marilyn! Vivian! The might of the three Shadow Sirens will be more than enough to win the day. Press A, Ted. Press A. There we go. Okay. Go! Okay, now this is the Shadow Sirens fight. First off, I love the Shadow Sirens battle theme. It's probably my favorite theme in the game. It's just so rocking. I think it fits these characters so well. I, I love this battle theme. Anyway, uh, the whole gimmick of the Shadow Sirens is that, you know, there's three of them, and each of them uh, specialize in different things. Uh, Vivian uh, is just going to be dealing consistent damage to you most of the time, you know, doing, uh, mostly getting in your way. Um, Marilyn, the one in the middle, she's going to be the heavy damage dealer of the group. Um, she's going to be, um, dealing the most damage to you. She also has the most health, so she's the biggest threat out of all of them. And the one in the back, Beldam, uh, she has ice magic, which can hit multiple characters, and she also has buffs and debuffs, buffs that she can place, so, but, and she also has the least amount of health, so I recommend getting rid of her last, I mean, first, get rid of Beldam first, just because she's a nuisance in general, and she's easy to take, get, take care of, because, you know, she's got the least amount of HP. So, if you've got the power bounce badge, like I told you to, it'll take two turns to kill her. Um, I think, well, it wouldn't take two, it probably would take more like three, but if you have the power bounce badge equipped, you might be able to make, uh, to get rid of her in one, uh, turn. And also, if you've got, Go remember that you've got Goombella there too, who, um, if you upgraded her like you probably should have, um, she'll, um, deal four damage. However, there's also an easier way to take care of these guys. This is Earth Tremor, the second, uh, star power ability that we've gotten so far. Uh, basically what you do, you press the A button every time the bar reaches one of those stars. If the bar reaches all the way to the, to the right, another point of damage will be done to every single character on screen. You can get up to a max of six, and at this point in the game, it is damn near game-breaking. See, look. I did five points of damage to every enemy on the screen. Uh, that's a ton for Chapter 2, and it's also going to continue being useful, um late in the game, too, so, like, even once you get to chapter 5, 6, 7, 8, you're still going to be using Earth Tremor a lot, mostly because, you know, it's got a relatively low, ca um, uh, cost, it only takes two, uh, special points in order to do damage, and that's really, really cheap, uh, I mean, it takes up your entire bar now, but it refills relatively quickly, and when you can fire off three or four of these in a row, you know, you're going to be owning everything, so... Yeah, uh, Earth Tremor, one of the best abilities in the game, no question. I, uh, you really don't have to, um, it's, it's awesome. So, yeah, multi-pounds for the win. Woo! Woo! Uh, I suck. Sorry, sis! See, oh yeah, I forgot to mention, Marilyn can also buff herself, too, so you're gonna want to take care of her as fast as you can. So, yeah, uh, seeing as Goombella got debuffed there, uh, I decided to switch to, um, uh, Koops, just for the extra point of defense, because he's pretty much the only tank we have at this point in the game. But, however, with Power Bounce, we'll be, we take out Beldam, which means that we've only got Marilyn left. When she's by herself, she's really not that much of a threat. However, if she charges herself up, she can do four damage, which is a decent amount at this point in the game, so you're going to want to take care of her. 
Ooh, now we've got the bingo reel. I haven't taken the chance to explain it yet. Uh, if you, um, every time you perform a successful action command, a little, uh, symbol will appear in the top right corner. It will be like a mushroom, a flower, a shine sprite, a star, or a poison mushroom. If you get two to match up, like you get a mushroom on the first action command, and then you get another mushroom on the second action command, a little roulette wheel will appear, and then if you press A and it reaches on another mushroom, then all of your health will be restored. And it does the same thing with star points if you land on all three stars, and flower points if you land on all three flowers, and if you get three shine sprites, you get a full reheal. So that's helpful, but it's mostly random, so you can't really uh, rely on it. Except for one exception, though, but I'll talk about that later. But the bingo re reel uh, can really help you out in a lot of different situations. So, uh, yeah, um, you're going to want to um, take advantage of that when you have the uh, chance to. Uh, I don't know if there's any way you can manipulate it. Uh, I've never really been able to uh, get it to um, be manipulated. But, you know, um, if there is a way, somebody please tell me. Anyway, after beating the Shadow Sirens, uh, we get the necklace, so we have to take that back to Flurry. A nice little detail there, I do like how Vivian hesitated when they were fleeing, because it's like, because Beldem dropped the necklace, and, uh, Vivian was sort of turned back to go get it, but she left anyway, I like that hesitation. So anyway, um, that's the effect of the curse, um... It, it increased the amount of coins that I got there, but however, the effect, the curse animation also made it so that the coins that I got from the other battles also disappeared. So, uh, I evened out, I guess? I don't know. Sometimes the curse is a little bit annoying. Like, I had terrible luck with the curse on this run. Because, you know, it'll randomly decide to give you benefits and stuff. So, like, for example, it's like, it'll randomly decide to increase your attack points. Great, but you were going to be able to beat that enemy with a normal attack strength anyway. The bo the enemy is going to, uh, it'll increase your defense for an attack when it's using a really weak attack. Or, you know, or it'll double your star points when you only got, like, two star points, you know. Sometimes, uh, the curse can be helpful, and I do recommend it just in case, you know, you do need it. But, you know, sometimes it can sort of screw you over, too. And sometimes it, like, it, I swear it tries to come in the, uh, it tries to be, it tries to activate in the least, um, helpful times that it can. So anyway, we're back. You found my necklace. I'm beside myself, truly. But you still mustn't see me. Please leave the necklace by the door and wait a moment. Okay, you know what? We really went out of my way for, out of our way for this, you stupid bitch. You better help us now. Ah. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, staying alive, staying alive. So who is this flurry anyway? Uh, 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 you're gonna help us? Really? Oh, oh my word, Mario, isn't it? You are my heroic little necklace hunter? Well, my, my, mine, aren't you a fine special minute of a man? Yes, indeed. I don't like where this is going. I must thank you for your graciousness, but how to do it? Mm, perhaps if I grabbed you and gave you a little trigger? No, please no. No, God, no, 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 the fan fiction has already been written. Is Mario's foot really that good for kissing Flurry? Really? Ugh. So anyway, it's at this point where Flurry decides that she's going to join our party. We have to deal with you for the rest of the game, don't we? Ugh. Yes. Flurry does indeed join the party at this point, so... Yay. I mean, I guess we can help the, f the punies and get the crystal star, but... I really would rather not you join the party, thanks. So anyway, Flurry is without a doubt the worst party member in the game. She's really useless. So anyway, um, in the field, you can use her to blow away certain, like, obstacles and you know, find some hidden stuff, which is useful, I guess. So anyway, press the X- Mario, what is- are you groping her? Mario, stop! This is a children's game! Rated E for everyone, my ass! So anyway, yeah, if you press the X button, she'll blow- She'll blow wind at stuff to make, uh, like, hidden, uh, pieces of paper blow away, and you can find hidden stuff. Yes. Flur- all Flurry's really good for is- all Flurry's really good for is blowing, I'm afraid. Yes, sex joke. In battle, she's really not that special. I mean, she can kinda tank, because she has a lot of HP and has a move that can replenish HP. 
But really, she's just not that useful because, um, you know, her attack power isn't great. Oh yeah, also you have to re leave the house and then go back in, and then there's a badge in here. It's really nothing special. But it's just like, Flurry's really only defining characteristic is that she can hit an enemy anywhere on the field. And, you know, we'll, we'll get better party members later in the game that can do the same thing. So, yeah, Flurry, one of the worst party members, unfortunately. Anyway, I'm X and Shadow, and I'll see you guys later.